Yes, this is the Earl Spin Jr. You're watching True School Sports. All right. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, interesting news. I mean, er everything to me is just interesting. I ain't been on social media for like damn near a week. So I'm just learning all kinds of stuff going on in boxing just now. But was on Instagram and I saw this news. Man, this, this really warmed my heart to see. Because I don't think these two should have ever split up as fighter and trainer. But things happen in boxing. Boxing can sometimes mirror marriages. Sometimes people split up and they have the differences. But they, if they love each other, they find their way back eventually. And that's what's happened here in the heavyweight division. As, you know, my favorite current heavyweight... None other than El Ani Mall, the Croatian sensation, one of South Florida's adopted very own, Philip Hergovic. You know, he was out there in Houston for a little bit with Ronnie Shields. He did a training camp with Ronnie Shields for the Zhang fight. Didn't look so good in the Zhang fight. And um, now it appears, according to what I've seen on Instagram, that Philip Hergovic is back here in South Florida training with his original trainer, the one and only, the renowned master genius, Pedro Diaz, the professor. The, you know, one of the smartest people I've ever met in boxing, Pedro Diaz, man. Uh, great, great, great boxing mind. Great person. And um, you got to remember, that last fight with Jang, there was a lot going on with Hergovic before going into that fight that people don't want to take into account. You know, his father just died. He, it was his first camp with a new trainer, Ronnie Shields. And I think Ronnie Shields had some good ideas, but um, clearly... Maybe it didn't work or something was off in the camp or whatever. Maybe they just had their differences and um, they're no longer together. So, hey, it is what it is. It happens in boxing. Ronnie Shields still a great trainer and Hergovic is still a top fighter in the heavyweight division. But um, this really warms my heart because I'm going I'm I'm to tell you guys a story. I, I won't get too deep into it because I can't tell you guys some things, but I'll tell you guys this. So, like, I'm going to say maybe a month and a half, two months ago, um, here in Homestead where, where I live, here in South Florida, uh, there was an amateur boxing show that I went to right on the corner from where I live. And um, while I was there, Pedro Diaz was there with some of his amateur boxers from, from Mundo Boxing Gym. And so I, I talked to him and, and he had stated, you know, I talked to him and kind of just, I hadn't seen him in a while. So obviously it was kind of like a hi, how you doing type thing. But I made sure the one question I asked him, because I hadn't seen him for a while, was why did you and Hergovic split up and... He told me the reasons why. I'm not going to get into the reasons why because that doesn't matter anymore. But but uh, you, I could tell when he told me these things that basically he was a bit disgruntled and maybe even a little, little bit discouraged because, you know, as a, as, as a coach and a trainer, you put a lot of work into a fighter and and and, and you want to see the, the, the fruits of your labor and you want to be there throughout the process when the fighter goes into the big fights and you know, obviously he had a right to feel how he felt. And obviously it probably, probably didn't make him feel any better seeing him look not so good against Zhang because this is a guy in Hergovic that we're accustomed to seeing go in there and blast people out the ring. And with Pedro Diaz, that's pretty much what he did. He never really had many fights where he looked bad. I mean, you can, you can criticize the opposition all you want, but he was pretty consistent in his performances with Pedro Diaz. So now we, arri we have arrived to a stage where the back together – and it's at a great time because Hergovic is now the IBF mandatory. There is a lot of speculation as to if he will fight Usyk next. It looks like Tyson Fury, after his last fight with Chizora, is now becoming serious about making the fight happen. So obviously that's a unification undisputed fight. That would trump and take would take precedence over a mandatory. But this is an IBF mandatory and the IBF is known to be a bit more stringent and strict with their mandatories. So something's got to give. Hergovic, and I, I, I didn't need to hear him say this and to, 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 know, to, to think this, but like he never struck me as the type of fighter that was going to take step aside money. This is a guy that really believes in his heart of hearts that he's the best heavyweight in the world. Um, this is a guy that's fought at a high level, who's meddled in the Olympics, won, been a blue chip. <clears throat> Bless you. Um, been a blue chip amateur talent and... You know, has been sparring with some of the top guys in the world like Wilder and David Hay and, and, and Vladimir Klitschko and doing his thing. That's kind of how he made, how he made a reputation in boxing early was, was the work that he was giving these guys in sparring when he was a young kid. Um, so obviously he, he views himself highly and he should for what he's accomplished in boxing. 
And you know what? I feel like, you know, Pedro Diaz and Hergovich, I know, I know one, one thing about Pedro Diaz that I feel he's great at as a trainer is that he's very good about getting guys physically ready for a fight, meaning that their physical condition is never a question when you go into a fight. The motto of the gym at Mundo Boxing Gym is train to win. And that's exactly what he does. He trains his guys to go in there and win. Doesn't matter if a guy is an elite fighter, A class, B class, C class fighter. One thing, with, one thing you must know about any Pedro Diaz fighter is that they're gonna come and be prepared to win a fight. They're gonna be in physical and condition. And I and I believe that, you know, with Herkovich, he I'm I'm very sure he learned some things in that Jang fight, and he learned some great things under the under the tutelage of Ronnie Shields, who's a great trainer in himself, about using the jab and, and the boxing skills and how to apply those type of things. But I think now for a fight with Usyk, being back at Pedro Diaz is a good thing because one thing about Usyk is we know Usyk is like a bunny rabbit. The dude's a southpaw, bunny rabbit, uh, moves very well. And Hergovich is going to need to be in tip-top physical condition to, uh, to, to, ha to have the best chance to beat a guy like Usyk. Because truth be told, you know, there's not a ton of guys at heavyweight. I know people say I overrate Hergovich, but I'm just being honest. There's not a ton of guys I would pick to beat Hergovich in the heavyweight division, but Usyk is the guy, one of the guys I would favor to beat Hergovich uh, just, just because of the mobility. And, you know, I feel like he'll be able to turn Hergovich and get off his shots. So in order for Hergovich to have the best chance to win, he has to be in the best physical condition possible. And the best guy to give him that chance, I believe, is Pedro Diaz. I mean, look at all those years ago when uh, you had Miguel Cotto, who obviously he didn't beat Floyd Mayweather, but who was Cotto with when he fought Floyd? He was with Pedro Diaz. And, and he fought, he gave a great account of himself that fight. And um, a lot of that, I do believe, was due to the preparation of Pedro Diaz in the gym. And having a great game plan. So um, this just one, this one hard to see, honestly, because you know uh, I, I I felt very distraught to be honest with you when when Hergovich and, and Pedro split because I did enjoy uh, their camaraderie in the gym and, and where they got in the heavyweight division. I was hoping it'd work out, Ronnie Shields. Clearly, it didn't in the last fight, um, and there was a lot to be learned in that last fight with Zhang. And and then and, and right now the. Hergovich, people's view of him is, is low because they think he lost. Most people think he lost to Zhang. I don't think he lost to Zhang. I thought he won by a point, but uh, most people thought he lost to Zhang. And um, they're right. They're, they're, they're more than justified to think that because, you know, I, I barely had him winning. So uh, he has a lot to prove if he's going to fight Usyk next. And if it's not Usyk, he's got a lot to prove whoever he fights next because right now, Hergovich has got a target on his back because a lot of people are now gaining confidence from that fight. So it could either be a bad thing for him or it could be the best thing that ever, that ever happened to his career. I believe it'll be the best thing, the thing that ever happened to his career because now he will get the fights that he's been longing for in the heavyweight division and in boxing. So uh, that's the news. Philip Hergovich, he left Pedro Diaz, got beat up a bit by Zhang, and you now he's back at Pedro Diaz. So we'll see how this works out and we'll definitely be attacking this here on True School Sports. And hopefully... Soon, sometime in the near future, I can get my, my behind down to Mundo Boxing Gym and, and, and go talk to Hergovich and make Pedro my damn self. So, uh, yeah. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dania. So, until next time, take it, guys. True School Sports. He's the truth. One of the best YouTube. The best. Ooh. The, the number one. Number one. Brandon, you've been there, man, and you're building up a good following Thank with you. us. Thank you. And I'm proud to be a part of what you're doing, too. Mm -hmm. You are spectacular. And, uh, you know, Thank you, man. All the best through school boxing and keep up the good work.